It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool. You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. All right, today's tool comes from Vever. So, this is a mag drill. If you don't know what a mag drill is, I'd explain it all. If you do know what a mag drill is, and you've been kind of interested in maybe purchasing one, or kind of looking at them. Vever has some pretty good options as far as uh, affordability goes. Um, their motto is tough tools half price. So just from my initial unboxing, it seems like a pretty uh, well put together tool. Right out of the box, it was all assembled. I had to put the hands on it, put the uh, canister for the lubrication on it. Kind of broke out all the stuff that it came with. So comes with some tools to actually set it up. A couple Allen wrenches. It has a center, uh, center punch, center alignment pin that actually just fits up in here. And then a whole set of metal brooches. So these are all metal brooches made for this unit here. They're all metric, so this is 27 by 30. You got 26 by 30, 24 by 30, 23 by 30, all the way down to 12 by 30. So, and uh, if you guys aren't familiar with a brooch, a brooch is, I don't know, it's kind of a mixture between a hole saw and a drill bit. They work a little better for kind of penetrating straight down. Anyway, this alignment pin goes right in the center of this thing when you insert it in here. And what it does, what it does is it kind of aligns the center of this brooch but it'll be sprung loaded so as you as you apply pressure you can make sure that it's centered and then the centering pin itself will collapse up inside the brooch the brooch will then cut the hole you get the idea so these things just go in here like this they've got two two little allen keys and that's how you tighten it up just like that see the centering pin here all right, so this kit also comes with a chuck, okay? So it's got like a drill chuck that comes with it and an adapter for the drill chuck. So the top section looks just like the brooches where it kind of mounts in here. The bottom section is supposed to thread into the chuck. The problem is they gave me the wrong adapter. So this looks like an adapter for a smaller chuck so this chuck is a 3 to 16 millimeter uh, m18 by 1.5 it's not what this is so it doesn't fit right off the bat that's a problem I'm gonna contact them and see if they'll make it right so I guess we'll see how their customer service is well this thing works is you got a button over here that activates the magnet so the magnet is on the bottom of this thing and so the idea is that you can put this on any kind of piece of substantial metal. Think of metal that you couldn't fit in your drill press. You need a drill press style hole. Accuracy, perfectly straight up and down. But the piece you're trying to drill is too big to fit into a drill press. You don't want to hand drill it because you don't want it to be off. This is where this comes in. You place this thing on the part that you want to drill. You activate the magnet, which then sticks it in place, and you turn it on, and you works just like a drill press. So you can bring this thing down, you drill your hole, so on and so forth. I think one of the things I want to try to do with this is when I ordered my large welding table, my certified welding table, I got them to, uh, every hole on it is a tapped hole. You know, when I want to kind of fix or anything, and I, I need to kind of do it quick. I can't use my 5 8 dowel fixtures that I use on my other welding table. I have to actually thread it in. It's kind of a pain. So I'm thinking if I have the right brooch, I might go through and like 
drill out every other tapped hole. So I'll have both. I'll have you know the quick access slide dowels and the tapped holes for major fixturing. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go plug this thing up. We'll put it on the welding table. Kind of check it out. All right, here we go. So on the table, you see I can move this thing around freely. All you do is flip this switch right here, and now she is. I mean, I'm moving the table. She is, she's stuck. I don't necessarily want to cut a hole in my table. Let's see if this works. So that's crazy. Look, it goes, the magnet part goes through the plate, still into the table. Like I still can't, well, I guess you can move it a little bit. I can actually see this thing being really useful too, say on a, like a chassis. You know, you're building, you're working on your C10, you need to drill some big holes in your chassis. You just kind of magnet base this thing to the chassis and go to town. Well, that turned out very nice. I wasn't even really applying that much pressure on it. It kind of just did the work on its own. Um, I need to get some coolant in this thing before I really go to town, but uh, it definitely makes short work out of any kind of large holes that you need to cut, or small ones. All right guys, there you go, the mag drill from Vever. As always, I'll drop you some links in the description, you can go check it out for yourself. Thank you for joining me, I'll see you guys next week. It's Friday, fool.